ओके सो फ्लटर जस्ट गॉट फोक्ट सो लेट्स गो थ्रू दिस ब्लॉग पोस्ट फ्रॉम फ्लटर फाउंडेशन आई थिंक दिस इज़ अ न्यू वेबसाइट विच दे हैव क्रिएटेड एंड द फोक्ट इज नेम एज फ्लॉक फ्लटर बाय द कम्युनिटी फॉर द कम्युनिटी and it is maintained by one of this uh, guys called matt carol and uh, he is a highly respected uh, flutter developer in the flutter community if you don't know he was previously working with google he was uh, working with nest the, which was acquired by google then he was when he was in google he was working with the flutter team uh, you might have also heard about the super text editor which uh, these guys have created and they also do flutter bounty, bounty hunting Uh, so yeah all kind of crazy stuff and cool stuff uh, from matt carol and i think there are a bunch of developers they have it's just not him so let's go through this blog post over the years flutter has attracted millions of developers who build user interfaces across every platform flutter began as a ui toolkit for mobile ios and android only then flutter added support for web finally flutter expanded to mac windows and linux across this massive expansion of scope and responsibility the flutter team has only marginally increased its size to help expand flutter available labor and accelerate development we are creating a fork of flutter called flock flutter's labor shortage let's do some of the back of the napkin math to appreciate the flutter team's labor shortage how many flutter developers exist in the world today my guess is that on the order of i don't know 1 crore developers uh, the real number is probably higher but 1 million should be reasonably conservative how large is the flutter team today google doesn't publish this information but my guess is that the team is around 50 people strong that's 50 people serving the needs of uh, 1 million uh, the doing a little bit of division that means every single member of the flutter team is responsible for the needs of 20000 flutter developer um, and the, that ratio is clearly unworkable for any a uh, semblance of customer support a labor shortage can always be fixed through hiring however due to the company wide issues at google the flutter teams have head count was frozen uh, circa 2023 and then earlier in 2024 we learned a smaller number of layoffs it seems that the team may now be expanding again through outsourcing but we are not likely to see the flutter team double or quadruple its size anytime soon to make matter worse google's corporate refocus on ai caused the flutter team to deprioritize all desktop platform as we speak the flutter team is in a maintenance mode for three of its six supported platform desktop is quite possibly the greatest untapped value for flutter but it is now mostly stagnant the cost of limited labor limited labor comes at a great cost for a toolkit that has rapidly expanded its user base along with its overall scope with so many developer to work on so work on tickets many tickets linger in the backlog backlog they can easily linger for years if uh, they are ever addressed at all by the time a member of the flutter team begins to investigate a ticket the ticket might be years old at that point the flutter team developer typically asks for further information from the person who filed the ticket in my experience when this happens to me i have long stopped working with the client who had the initial issue i have written hundreds of thousands of lines of code since then i often don't even remember filing the uh, filing the issue let alone the obscure details related to the original issue the team can't fix the bug without information from me and it's been too long for me to provide information to the team so the bug gets buried for a future developer to de- rediscover timing isn't just an issue for eventually root causing and fixing bugs it's also a major product problem imagine that you are the engineering director or cto of, of a company whose next release is blocked by some flutter bug what do you do if the team won't work on that bug for 2 years well if it's a serious bug for your company then you stop using flutter you don't have a choice you need to keep moving forward your team doesn't know how to work on the flutter framework and the flutter framework team is either unresponsive or at least completely non committable uh, towards a fix oh well can't use flutter anymore flutter won't survive if this kind of experience become common the flutter community can help with labor flutter has two very valuable qualities first it's open source so any developer can see how any part of flutter is implemented and can even change it second the flutter framework is written in the same language as flutter app because of these two qualities experienced flutter app developers and package developers can contribute to the flutter framework how many flutter developers exist in the world today who are capable of contributing at a productive level to the flutter framework conservatively i would guess that there are about 1000 of them in other words there are at least 1000 flutter developers in the world who could 
conceivably be hired to the flutter team if the team wanted to hire that many developers remember that ratio of one flutter team member per 20000 developers if every uh, capable flutter uh, framework contributor in the world regularly contributed to flutter the ratio of 1 is to 20000 would drop to 1 is to 1000 that's still a big ratio but it's much better than what it is now moreover as more external contributors get comfortable submitting fixes and features to flutter they will tend to help train others to do the same thus the support ratio would continue to improve in a better direction why not directly work with the flutter team if increased external contribution is the path to a better flutter world then why fork flutter when everyone could just work directly with the flutter team it's tempting proposition to set up a concreted uh, effort to contribute directly to flutter after all the flutter team regularly touts the number of external contribution that it rolls into each release according to the flutter public relation effort they would love all those external contributions but sadly trying to work with the flutter team delivers a different reality while some other while some developers had a uh, success working with the flutter team many other developers have found it frustrating if not unworkable there are un no doubt a number of factors that contribute to this result different uh, developers will experience different issues but here are some of them limited uh, review labor uh, the developers who don't have enough time to write code are the same developers tapped to review contribution uh, therefore it can take a long, long time for review for review or updates the time crunch also seems to lend itself to contagious review conversations everything takes forever and it always seemed to be the non-critical details communication monoculture most of the team seems to expect a certain way of communicating which doesn't match the variety of personalities in the world thus some people have an exceptionally difficult time navigating otherwise quick and simple conversation the result of the aforementioned issues and probably others that aren't listed is that the total number of people who have ever contributed to the flutter framework is currently less than 1500 that number includes people who have dropped by one time to fix a typo in a dart doc and then never contributed again that's not the number of regular contributors who add significant value whatever your experience with contribution to flutter one has to critically assess why a team that loves external contribution has only managed to merge contribution from 1500 developer over a span of nearly one decade my humble suggestion is that it's because the inviting message of the pr team does not match the experience of actually pushing a change through the team's policy developer availability technical culture the only people who can change this reality are the people within the flutter organization however most of those people don't actually think of any of this reason i know because a uh, number of them have expressed this to me directly there are a number of significant blind spots for the flutter team uh, which largely revolve around the fact that uh, members of the team have never been responsible for routinely delivering app features and fixes that are built upon flutter in other words i believe there are blind spots because flutter team member don't actually use flutter thus the urgency around many issues isn't appreciated nor is the urgency in the time cost associated with submitting fixes directly to flutter as an external contributor if the flutter team doesn't recognize the contribution problem and therefore won't take steps to address it then what else can be done that's where we find ourselves in the post and in this effort we have decided that the one thing we can do or uh, to help the labor issue is to fork flutter introducing flock our fork of flutter is called flock we describe flock as flutter plus in other words we do not want to or intend to fork the flutter community flock will remain constantly up to date with flutter Flock will add important bug fixes and popular community features which the Flutter team either can't or won't implement. By forking Flutter, we get to decide what gets merged. We won't lower the quality bar, but by controlling merge decision, we do get the following opportunities. Recruit a much larger PR review team than the Flutter team. This means faster review times. Recruit PR reviewers who are ready to facilitate contribution instead of merely tolerating them. This means support for a wider contribution audience, optimize policy, example don't buy, blindly demand uh, design docs and conference call when they don't uh, substantially add to the effectiveness of the task at hand, use contribution success to socially promote more contribution, we are all Flutter users, leverage team and company relationship to identify market priority as Flock ships important bug fixes and features the Flutter team 
can then choose to add those to flutter on their schedule the community will no longer be limited by the flutter team's availability nor will the community need to beg the flutter team to please accept a change the flutter team can use flock solution or not but all flock users will have access to them eliminating your company and team's urgency and desperation how you can get in involved flock as the name implies will only go as far as the community that supports it we would love for you to get involved alpha test the folk flock's first step is to mirror flutter this means automatically mirroring the master beta and stable branches along with replicating all release tag additionally once the framework is mirrored flock will need to automatically build and upload the engine and make those engine binary available to all flock users as we work through the mirroring process it would be a big help if you would try building your apps with flock you shouldn't see any difference between flock and flutter and you can configure flock with a tiny flutter version manager configuration check our instructions to get started so here i think okay so it just goes back to the original documentation where they have uh, told us how to uh, use this flutter version manager uh, to get started with flock so yeah something like this flutter foundation let's check their repo as well whether they have uh, so yeah here they have flocked flutter and 70 stars at least till now i think they have started it flaw they have started this no i think they have started it okay so it's basically all the everything is from flutter team itself okay anyways going back to the documentation uh, becoming a reviewer become a reviewer flock needs to recruit dozens of reviewers reviewers are responsible for enforcing a quality bar that's similar to flutters this includes requiring descri descriptive class method and property names effective dark dark docs and appropriate test but we want reviewers to go even further than that we just we don't just want to tolerate contribution we want to facilitate them many of us had experience of getting a pr 90 percent to the finish line only to have a flutter team reviewer declare that it can't be merged until we do something that we don't know how to do it's an awful experience and we aim to avoid it with flock we want flock reviewers who are willing to step in and help a contributor achieve the final 10 percent of the pr this doesn't mean contributors get to be lazy but if a contributor has done everything that he knows how to do and the pr is close to complete then we want the reviewer to step in and provide direction for the final 10 percent this is how we educate contributors and ensure that the next pr is 100 percent complete if you'd like if you'd like to become a flock reviewer please reach out to us become a lead maintaining and extending a long live folk folk of flutter requires some number of experts who direct specific areas of the project for example i'm initially stepping up at the director uh, of flock as well as the framework lead jesse hazel has stepped up as the engine lead we would like to bring in a flutter tool lead who directs extension to the flutter cli tool we would also like to break up the engine responsibility with a lead per platform android ios mac windows and linux if you would like to direct efforts for an area of flock please reach out towards let's flock together let's shift flutter into an overdrive and help make it you it the universal ui toolkit it should have been flutter has the potential to outshine every alternative in the market but it needs the community to flock together to help it get there let's do this